more beer from Cloudwater. This is a double dry hop IPA and it's called Soft Fruiting Bodies made with New Zealand and US Cascade Hops. But what's it going to be like? Is it going to be up to the standard of Cloudwater? Check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this beer. This is a double dry hot IPA from Cloudwater. It's called Soft Fruiting Bodies and it is a bold modern presentation of a classic hop. So it's using Cascade Hop both on the New Zealand version of it and also the US. Now Cascade is not the most commonly known and or used hop um, so I'm not even quite sure what it's going to be like, but it's a single hop. So let's try it, shall we? Let's stick it into a glass, see what it's like. I apologise that I've uh, my mic has got broken, and uh, so I don't have a mic. So if the sound's a little bit quieter than normal, that's the reason until I get my new, new mic. So let's get this beer into a glass. Um, we've had another cloud water this month, and it was pretty good. Um, and it seems for some reason that New Zealand, Australian type of hops are all the rage at the moment and seem to be picking the beers that have them in. But this beer, yeah, I mean, it looks very much like a New England IPA, but quite high levels of carbonation shooting up the glass there. But it's a yellow, cloudy. We've got just a one finger of head. Let's top that up a little bit more. Yeah, we've got one finger of, uh, of sort of just off white head and it's a very sort of yellow, hazy type of beer. Let's get some aromas. Oh, smells great. Smells like mango, smells like pineapple. It's got those two big heavy hitting sort of aromas in there. And then there's a sort of undercurrent citrus and grapefruits in there as well. Yeah, I mean, it's it's starting to smell like a lot of beers that we've had recently. Certainly ones that have very much on the New England IPA sort of side. Smells great. I'm hoping it's going to taste just as good. Cheers, everyone. Mm. certainly tastes very fruity pineapple and mango massive pineapple a little bit more so i'm a little bit disappointed with the mouthfeel though levels of carbonation a lot higher than than i usually would expect from a beer like this very sort of fizzy on the tongue yeah definitely a lot more fizzy and that makes that sort of pineapple a little bit flavors a little bit harsh grapefruit then comes in um and it's it, the flavors are zipping around your mouth now that can be good in some ways but for me in terms of my ipas i like them a little bit softer than that and this isn't a soft um i'm not quite sure why um let's have a quick one i'm just going to pour the rest of it out and then i'm going to have a quick look and see whether it's got oats in it um yeah, it says gluten, wheat and barley oats, so it's got all that sort of stuff in it. I'm not quite sure why it's not so soft. Very, very fruity, very juicy. As I said, it's it's your standard sort of pineapples, bit of grapefruit, mango. It's a it's a great new New England IPA. But as I said, it's it's probably not as good as some of the others we've had due to the mouthfeel. It's a little bit too carbonated, I think. Um, and also, um, there's a little bit of a sort of, um, almost like a grapefruit peel or lemon peel a little bit that just gives it that little sort of harshness, a little sort of, a little bit of bitterness from that, though, which is, you know, not as not as pleasant. Sometimes I, you can get that pineapple taste and you think, yep, that's great pineapple taste. And then there's this sort of harshness that's straight afterwards. And it's not it's difficult to describe it as being bitterness it's just that sort of tangy right um of a you know like a fruit peel um that real sort of like just slightly sort of tartness i suppose you know i suppose it is a bitterness a peel peely bitterness but not a piney bitterness um that just sort of just ruins the enjoyment a little bit it's not bad but it's not great it's it's a, just a solid New Zealand and the US Cascade Hops. It's difficult to really see those flavours unless it's that 
that sort of slight bitter dankness on the back end being the the the, the flavor that's coming from those cascade hops but if you told me it was citra mosaic and uh, and simcoe you know i probably would have said yeah i mean i've, I've tasted beers that are similar to that to this um, with those sort of hops in it so i'm not getting anything unique from cascade i think i've tasted enough let's get some scores okay the scores are in for soft fruiting bodies not the easiest word the title to say and it's a double dry hop ipa using cascade hops both from the us and from uh, new zealand um and it's a six percent i didn't even know i said that six percent it's a nice new england style ipa but just got a little bit of harshness about it that just sort of spoils it a little bit so aroma well i mean it's a traditional sort of you know, that New England type of aroma, big mangoes and pineapples. Actually, the aroma is pretty damn good, actually. It's nice, really nice and fresh smelling and, and really fruity. So I'm giving it a 14 out of 20 for aroma. Appearance, well, it's a nice yellow cloudy, but, you know, I'm a bit disappointed in that head. It just disappeared straight away. Um, and it's a little bit, you know, it's just a little bit too carbonated. I think that's why that head is like that. So I'm giving it seven for appearance, knocking it back a point. Uh, Flavour. Well, you, as the aroma, you get those pineapple and mango. Then you get a little bit of grapefruit. But there's just a little bit too much of a rind of a grapefruit. You know, that sort of lemon rind, that sort of slight harshness in terms of it doesn't taste as soft. And the carbonation is a little bit too high for this sort of style of beer. You want it a little bit, you want the mouth feel a bit softer than that. And the carbonation a bit sort of more medium. But it's more, it's quite high. It's a little bit too fizzy. So I'm marking it down a little bit, but it's a solid New England, and I'm giving it 33. Value for money, well, this one cost me over a fiver, so I'm knocking it back a few points. It's a great beer. It's got good hops in it, and it, it's got all the ingredients of a New England IPA. But there is a little bit of dankness in there as well. You're getting a little bit, of, I'm, I'm now getting a little bit of, apricots and those sort of stone fruits coming through but still there's that sort of pineapple but it does taste a little bit it's a little bit harsh of that pineapple flavor so we did the value for money seven out of ten and then my overall experience yeah i mean as i said there's so many great new england ipas i mean even the one i had the other day this rivington one i've just noticed can still sitting here um that was that was a pretty good that was a pretty good beer it's better than this um we had ones from the quantock i think it was a little bit softer and smoother than this as well so a little bit disappointed especially being cloud water um i'm giving it 12 my overall experience it's not a bad new england but i drink a lot of new england so I can tell whether one's slightly better than the other and this one's just a little bit under par for me so tossing those scores up we get 74 still recommended beer still worth trying still quite nice whether you're getting those cascade hops that are really sort of coming out and you can really identify them i don't think so you know you can get a similar flavor from other new england ipa style beers so um i don't think it really is the greatest showcase of, the, of those Maybe, you know, as I drink this, I'm going to get some, you know, some, as it sort of warms up a little bit, maybe those flavours will develop and it will start getting better. So solid, but not spectacular, white snake beer, slide it in slow and easy. And until the next one, keep on rocking.